नमस्कार इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम टू इन इट्स डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग स्टेडे हीट वेव टू सीवियर हीट वेव कंडीशन प्रिवेल्ड ओवर दी सम पार्ट्स ऑफ बिहार मेनली ओवर द साउथ बिहार एंड सम पार्ट्स ऑफ द गैंजेटिक वेस्ट बंगाल एंड इन आइसोलेटेड पॉकेट्स ओवर दी उड़ीसा एंड झारखंड एंड स्टेडे हीट वेव कंडीशन वर ऑल्सो प्रिवेल्ड इट वन आर टू प्लेसेस ओवर द पंजाब हरियाणा दिल्ली एंड उत्तर प्रदेश स्टेडे हैवी टू वेरी हैवी रेनफॉल वॉज रिपोर्टेड ओवर द कोंकण रीजन गोवा रीजन एंड मराठवाड़ा रीजन हाउ एवर हैवी रेनफॉल वॉज रिकॉर्डेड ओवर द मध्य महाराष्ट्र कर्नाटका एंड केरला एंड ओवर द सब हिमालयन वेस्ट बंगाल एंड सिक्किम मैक्सिम नाइनटीन पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर रेनफॉल वॉज रिपोर्टेड एंड द हाईलाइट ऑफ द टूडे ब्रीफिंग इज मेनली द सब हिमालयन वेस्ट बंगाल एंड सिक्किम वेरी लाइकली टू एक्सपीरियंस एक्सट्रीमली हैवी रेनफॉल ड्यूरिंग नेक्स्ट थ्री टू फोर डेज एंड ओवर द आसाम एंड मेघालय लाइकली टू गेट वेरी हैवी रेनफॉल एक्टिविटी ड्यूरिंग नेक्स्ट फोर टू फाइव डेज ओवर द महाराष्ट्र एंड ओवर द पेनसुलर इंडिया पर्टिकुलरली ओवर द तेलंगाना कर्नाटका एंड केरला हैवी रेनफॉल एक्टिविटी विल कंटिन्यू ड्यूरिंग नेक्स्ट टू डेज एंड देयर आफ्टर देयर विल देयर विल बी रिडक्शन ऑफ रेनफॉल एक्टिविटी ओवर द महाराष्ट्र एंड पेनसुलर इंडिया ओवर द नॉर्दर्न पार्ट्स ऑफ द कंट्री मेनली ओवर द नॉर्थ वेस्ट इंडिया एंड पार्ट्स ऑफ द ईस्ट इंडिया हीट वेव टू सीवियर हीट वेव कंडीशन विल प्रवेल ड्यूरिंग ऑल द फाइव डेज एंड इफ यू लुक फॉर द मानसून ऑन एडवांसमेंट देन टूडे द साउथ वेस्ट मानसून हैज further uh, advance into some more parts of the uh, north east arabian sea some more parts of the maharashtra some more parts of the telangana which can be seen in this blue color line and the conditions are also becoming favorable for further advance of the southwest monsoon over the some more parts of the maharashtra and some more parts of the telangana during next 48 hours and if you look for the today chief synoptic features then uh, <clears throat> over the south peninsular india a sear zone can be seen in the lower and middle tropospheric levels over the northern parts of the country a cyclonic circulation lies over the north east assam a trough uh, can also be seen from the bihar up to the gangetic west bengal in the lower tropospheric levels a circulation can be seen over the east uttar pradesh and trough runs from east uttar pradesh up to the nagaland across the bihar and assam region and over the northwest india the west and disturbances can be seen as a circulation over the jammu and kashmir and the middle tropospheric levels because of these synoptic features mainly uh, over the maharashtra and over the peninsular india heavy rainfall activity will continue during next two days as we can see in these maps and even uh, over the konkan and goa region very heavy rainfall activity is also likely and today and tomorrow isolated very heavy rainfall can be experienced over the north interior karnataka from 13th of june there will be the reduction in rainfall activity over the entire maharashtra and entire peninsular india however light to moderate rainfall activity will continue over the region but there uh, there is no chance of heavy rainfall activity over the entire region except coastal karnataka where heavy rainfall is likely it one or two places and over the uh, north east india including the sikkim region heavy to very heavy rainfall activity particularly over the assam meghalaya and sub himalayan west bengal and sikkim will be seen during all the five days and even the heavy rainfall activity is likely over the arunachal pradesh and nagaland manipur mizoram and tripura during next four to five days and isolated extremely heavy rainfall where the rainfall can can be more than 20 cm at one or two places over the sikkim and adjoining areas on today tomorrow and day after tomorrow even the red uh, red alert has been issued for the sub himalayan west bengal and sikkim region for 12th of june and if we look for the uh, rainfall activity over the other parts of the country as we have seen that light to moderate rainfall over the many parts of the maharashtra and uh, adjoining parts of the peninsular india will continue over the during next 2 to 3 days and from 14th of june onwards the rainfall activity will gradually decrease over the region over the northeast india light to moderate uh, spell of rainfall activity will continue all the five days over the central india and adjoining parts of the east india light rainfall activity accompanied with thunderstorm lightning and gusty wind up to 40 to 50 km ps very likely to continue over the madhya pradesh vidarbha and chatisgarh during next 4 to 5 days and however mainly over the punjab haryana delhi and uttar pradesh and even the west rajasthan these regions very likely to be dry during all the 5 days 
and if you look for the uh, maximum temperatures then yesterday maximum temperatures were in the range of 42 to 45 degrees centigrade over many parts of the Uttar Pradesh many parts of the West Bihar West Jharkhand and many parts of the North Rajasthan Haryana and Delhi also and these temperatures very likely to be in the same range in the during all the five days however over the Maharashtra maximum temperatures very likely to decrease by 2 to 3 degrees centigrade during next 24 hours from tomorrow onwards these temperatures will again rise by 3 to 4 degrees centigrade over the Maharashtra. These maximum temperatures are above normal by about 4 to 5 degree over many parts of the Bihar, Jharkhand, Gangetic, West Bengal over the some parts of the Uttar Pradesh, Haryana, Delhi and Punjab which can be seen in the red color in this map. If you look for the heat wave warning for the upcoming 5 days mainly the heat uh, wave to severe heat wave conditions very likely to prevail mainly over the Bihar. Bihar, Jharkhand, Gangetic West Bengal, Uttar Pradesh, mainly over the East Uttar Pradesh and some parts of the West Uttar Pradesh during all the five days. However, there will be the slight reduction in heat wave conditions over the East India, mainly over the Bihar, Jharkhand and Odisha and Gangetic West Bengal. However, the heat wave condition at one or two places will continue over the region. But over the Uttar Pradesh, the heat wave to severe heat wave conditions will be seen over the many parts of the East Uttar Pradesh and over the some parts of the West Uttar Pradesh, mainly over the Punjab, Haryana and Delhi, the heat wave conditions at one or two places will continue during all the five days and over the Jambu division, Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand heat wave conditions will be seen during next three to four days. So we have issued the red alert particularly for the Bihar for the next three days and we have also issued the red alert for the Jharkhand region for the next three days. For the East Uttar Pradesh, the red alert has been issued for the uh, from 12th of June till 15th of June and for the West Uttar Pradesh, the red alert has been issued from 13th of June until 15th of June and for the other regions we have issued the orange alert or the yellow alert. For more detailed weather information you can visit the MD website, you can follow us on our Facebook page, our YouTube channel and our Twitter page. Thank you.